Hello what's up everybody welcome to another division video in this video I want to show you my predators mark build I believe this is actually one of the best builds to run right now especially in PvE uh, as uh, that consistent damage is really really handy uh, it basically takes full advantage of a full DPS build like uh, like me I know it's kind of a hybrid build because it's not full glass cannon but this is the kind of builds that I like to go for around 300 uh, thousand toughness and around a big number of dps the higher the better um i have got another couple of builds that i am going to bring you guys uh, very very soon so if you guys want to see any more builds then be sure to stick around uh, but anyway let's get into this build because that's what the video is about the chest piece i'm using is a reckless chest piece uh, if you're not a fan of reckless go for uh, that one vigorous um but I am a big fan of Reckless because it increases your DPS by insane amounts. Um, as you see here, I've got armor, health, and ammo capacity. It's basically a god roll Reckless chest piece, uh, in my opinion. So, if you have one like this, definitely use it. It's awesome. For my uh, for my uh, other high end, I'm using the Mask Tenacious. Uh, this increases your damage by 10% for 10 seconds when you use a med kit. Extremely useful in PvP. Uh, and uh, quite useful in PvE as well. But in PvP, say uh, you're going against uh, a guy, uh, you both have the similar builds, uh, but he doesn't have this. As soon as you guys pop your med kits, you're obviously getting 10% more damage than him, and you'll wreck him. Uh, you'll absolutely melt him. Uh, trust me, it's very good it, in 1v1 situations. Uh, other pieces I'm using is. Predator's Mark uh, knee pads holster and backpack all with armor and Predator's Mark mm -hmm. gloves with SMG damage and crit hit chance. Uh, I would personally like to get assault rifle damage on that as well but uh, I'm keeping the damage to elites because uh, it just helps out in uh, PvE but if you're going for a pure PvP build I would go for assault rifle damage as well or maybe critical hit damage uh, but um, SMG damage is pretty good and I suggest that I'm using the SMG as my second key. As for my weapons, I'm using the Alova C uh, with Brutal, Unforgiving, Skilled and for the ma uh, for the mods I've just stacked a lot of uh, headshot damage and added uh, for the... Uh, basically focused on headshot damage uh, just to increase, well, headshot damage. It increases your DPS by insane amounts and it's very useful if you can hit headshots that is uh, and I'm getting a, a little better with my uh, gun skills but I ain't the best with my SMG uh, I have uh, Brutal, Deadly and Swift uh, I'd like to get uh, either Deadly or Swift uh, switched out with Fierce as a uh, Fierce is very very good for an SMG and also I'm using the SMG9 which is a very underrated weapon at the moment this thing absolutely sh uh, shreds through people in the dark zone, especially with, uh, say, a tactical link or something like that. It's awesome. Uh, for my mods, I have focused on crit hit chance and crit hit damage with a little bit of headshot damage and uh, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, just to obviously uh, increase the effectiveness of an SMG. Um, I wouldn't advise focusing purely on headshot damage with an SMG. As uh, it's a lot more effective if you go for a lot of crit hit chance and crit hit damage uh, to take full advantage of that um, that base crit hit damage boost. Obviously, uh, it's also very 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 good to use an SMG in the dark zone. If you're using say an assault rifle, that's pointless. There you can't take advantage of the enemy armor damage, but the crit hit damage you can take full advantage of and it's very very good let's just say that uh, now let me go over my abilities quickly I'm using booster shot just to obviously increase my DPS and toughness I will show you quickly that's why I'm using it pissed my toughness to almost 350k which is what most people are running at right now and uh, piss my DPS at 316k which is a uh, pretty insane to say the least um, 
As for my flame turret, I'm just running that because, well, about 100 people is running that in the de dark zone, so I thought may as well pay it on myself, suggesting uh, it seems to be pretty good. Uh, but if you're not a fan of the flame turret, go for pulse or basically whatever you want. If you're running solo, I definitely advise uh, running recovery link. If you're running in group, run tactical link. This is insane. I've took out groups of three, four people all solo using tactical link with this build. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, for my talents, uh, these aren't the most important, but uh, I'd suggest running something similar to this. Uh, running and the two to focus on. Uh, they work really really good together is critical save and on the move uh, on the move will give you 30% damage uh, resistance uh, when you kill a something when you're moving so that um, that includes also players in the dark zone so say you've got a group of two people uh, you kill the first guy whilst you're moving pop your med kit to give you that heal you have that extra 10% damage from uh, the, your mask and you also have an insane amount of damage resistance and you will easily, easily beat that second guy. Uh, it is really, really good to run these two together. Um, and that's about it for this build video. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video, if you guys like this kind of build, if you guys want to see more, please leave a like and uh, subscribe as well. Because, well, there's more on the way. So, if you guys want to see that, it's pretty obvious. Subscribe. Uh, Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.